Uh, shout out to all the people that uh, were nice to me tonight at the the boxing. Uh, the, uh, is it Daniel Goodwin and his friends? They uh, I saw them at the end of the night in the arena. Nice kids, boxing fans. They come all the way out here, aren't they? So. Any, but any fans who do that, they get my respect because it's not cheap to come out here. Uh, and we're talking about young lads in their early 20s, probably 20 year old or something. When I was that age, I want, I want going to uh, fly into other countries. I want flying to other countries and uh, to watch boxing. When I was that age, I were God knows what I was doing, messing about, with, driving around in some old banger. Earning, earning crap money and a crap job but respect to them people who flew out here to support uh, Savannah Marshall and Yui uh, I thought Pooh left were there for the taking tonight uh, but Yui got cut didn't he in the second round and game plan went out window once, he, once that cut opened up instead of Yui being the the slickster that he is, he had to fight in a different style to what the game plan were. They had to go for it because they didn't know how long they were going to get with a cut. But uh, two seconds, Who is it? Oh, I'm just filming that. But uh, but luckily, uh, Kerry Kays uh, did a good job with cut, and uh, they managed to get him through for the first for 12 rounds. But I thought Pula for the effort taking, but like I just said, game plan went out window after the second round, and that's boxing, isn't it? I suppose. You is 24, he'll come again. Uh, the, the people who flew out there, as I just said, to watch him, they des deserve respect because, like I just said, it's not cheap coming out here. But you know, Leo will live to fight another day. Pula, Anthony Joshua will wipe the floor with him. Uh, and Eddie Yearn will be sat at home now, smog, and he'll be coming out with lines like, Kubrat Pulaf is our mandatory. We're going to get that out of the way first. You've got to fight your mandatories. Eddie loves a mandatory, doesn't he? Hey? Eh? But yeah, they'll be all over that fight with Pulaf now at Wembley. And why not? Because Pulaf and Joshua last year sold out Cardiff Arena, didn't they? 78,000, wasn't it? And then with 12 days to go, even though it was sold out, Slip tack him in, didn't they? So, Pool F will get to come again, and they know that Joshua sells if he fights a bin man. So, pencil Pool F in for April, and pencil in Dillian White to scream blue murder. Because I don't really think people want to see Dillian White fight Joshua again, although I think it's a good fight. We've seen it once, haven't we? Joshua's only going to fight twice a year. So, why do we want to see him fight somebody who's already knocked out? He doesn't add up. But I'm sure Eddie could get Dillian White another route, and then when he comes back to the table with a belt, Dillian White's got more bargaining power, and if he gets like a, a WBA mandatory belt, oh, it's not a mandatory belt, a WBA regular belt, sorry. If he gets that belt, he's bringing something to the table, isn't he? But Joshua's got four of the five belts, Wilder's got the other. They're not going to fight Wilder in April. Uh uh. It'll be pool left now, I can assure you. Sure as eggs are eggs, it'll be pool left. But you is 24 and he'll come again. I'm good for him. But that's boxing. Now, on a brighter note, Savannah Marshall won, didn't she? Uh, she is she's the complete fighter. She won every round. She dropped her as well, and she's a tough Argentinian. She won every round, and I think that she deserves a lot more respect than what she gets from the boxing community. Everybody keeps blowing bubbles up to Clarissa Shields' backside. Savannah's beat her. So let's start getting behind Savannah Marshall. She's one of our own. She's English. World amateur champion. She's the real deal. Let's get behind her. She's coming and she'll win a world title. And I just want to finish on this. This is the, the other side of boxing. I know you got beat tonight. I know that Savannah Marshall won. That's how boxing goes. But let's have a little think about Tom Little. Now, Tom Little came out here and he was going to fight. Now, he didn't fight, did he, Tom Little? Right? Tom Little didn't fight. And, uh, 
I spoke to, I was sat next to Ron Lewis on uh, Coogan Cassie has actually let me have his chair in press row, front row. So shout out to Coogan Cassius. Uh, maybe I got him wrong in the past. I know he didn't ask the questions that I want to ask, but he didn't have a problem with me having his seat. So that was good of him, that. But I spoke to Ron Lewis about it, and I agree with Ron that boxing's the hardest game in the world. Tom Little's come out here, he's forked out money, and he hasn't fought. So get behind Tom Little. He's a, he's a nice bloke, him, Tom Little. I know sometimes he comes across as a bit boisterous and with a bit of edge on him but he's a likeable character, he's a character and I like characters and I, I, I was thinking about Tom Little watching him tonight watching box and I thought he's come out here Tom, he's shelled out money for him and his team and he's not fought so he's not going to get paid is he? So have a little think about Tom Little, that's the other side of boxing, Poole left one, he's going to get five million pound, you eat lost he goes to back at Q, and he? he's going to have to come again, probably fight Caballero. And Tom Little didn't get to fight. So, that's heavyweight boxing for you. But keep on trucking. Thanks for watching. And shout out to all those people who usually have a shout out to. I'm not going to mention their names tonight because I'm tired. I've got a plane to catch. But uh, in morning. So, peace out. And uh, keep following boxing. And like or subscribe at the bottom of the channel if you want. Alright? Or like or, like or dislike. Whatever, I'm not, I read them all, I don't reply, but read them all, and all the best, thanks for tuning in, peace. You alright? Good one. Yeah, right.